girls, it's good to see you again. I sure hope to see you at church very soon. So keep listening for announcements about when we'll be back together. Well, today we're going to be talking about Mother's Day because today is Mother's Day. I hope you didn't forget. Take a look at your calendar. So boys and girls, today our lesson is about mothers. I want to read to you from the Bible uh, in Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 16. It says, Honor thy father, father and thy mother as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee, that thy days may be prolonged, and that it may go well with thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. God tells us to honor our mothers. Are you doing that? Let's think today about our mothers for a while. We're going to talk about some things she says and maybe some things she does. We're going to learn a little bit about ladies or mothers from the Bible. And then we're going to play a game of Jeopardy. So you're going to need someone to watch this video with you. Get your Bible because I'm going to give you some Bible references where you can learn more for the higher point questions in Jeopardy. But you can stop this video as I give you a Bible reference and read about it and then move on so that we can get to Jeopardy at the end. Are you ready? Here we go. What are some things you uh, know that moms always like to say? Here's one. Can you finish it? Eat your vegetables. Yeah. And then what? Don't pick your nose, scabs. Yeah. Either way, that, that moms say that, don't they? You'll always be my baby. Yeah, they say that, don't they? And what else do they say sometimes? I'm not going to ask you again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So moms like to say those things. Let's talk a little bit about the history of Mother's Day. Where did that come from with Mother's Day here? We don't hear a day in the Bible that says Mother's Day, but it does tell us to honor our mother. So here's a little explanation. It started in 1914 with an act of Congress. President Woodrow Wilson, hmm, you might need to remember that. President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed the second Sunday in May as Mother's Day. It was. It's a time to publicly express our love and honor for moms all across our country. All right, so let's think about some ways that we can uh, honor our mothers today by something we could give them. Well, it's Mother's Day, so if you haven't thought about it, and since you can't go to the store because of the COVID or probably aren't going to the store, let's think about some things you can do for her that won't cost any money. What can you think of? Name some things. Yeah, make her a card at home. Moms love that stuff. Write and draw pictures and sign it and tell them how much you love them. Yeah, they love that. Uh, clean your room. Go pick some flowers outside. Make sure it's flowers. She won't be upset if you like pick. Um, <clears throat> bring them in. Make some coupon books with maybe you would do the dishes or rubber neck or read her a book or what could it be that you could put little coupons she could tear out, wash her car, oh, all kinds of things. How about um, the best gift ever? The best gift ever you can give your mom on Mother's Day is to honor her. So what's that look like? Honor is showing respect for your mom. Can you give her that? Sure you can. Respect your mother. Respect uh, your mother inside your home and outside your home. Honor uh, is when we uh, respect her no matter who's around. Say nice things about your mom at home and when you're not at home. Uh, thank her for what she does. Mom, thank you for cooking tonight. I really appreciate it. Mom, thank you for doing my laundry. Mom, thank you for folding my laundry. Mom, thank you for forgiving me. I know I did it again. Uh, listen to her. If she's talking and she just wants to talk to you, sit down and listen to your mom. Um, you can give her little gifts. You can give her your time. Uh, you can just surprise her with something she wouldn't expect, like maybe she's busy in her office or busy with the baby sister or outside. And when she comes in, you have uh, cleaned up the kitchen. That would be awesome. Um, what else? You could pray for her and you could tell her that. Wow. 
That would really make her happy. All right, so let's talk about some different moms in the Bible. I'm going to tell you about these ladies, and this is where you can stop the video and look at the references to learn more. Today during Jeopardy, there'll be some easy questions, but then there will be some harder questions too, and you're going to have to do some of that work on your own. Here we go. Mary, mother of Jesus. In Luke chapter 1, verses 35 through 38, you can find out more about Mary. Mary, uh, God chose Mary to be the mother of his son Jesus. After Jesus was born, he was visited by shepherds and wise men. So an angel came to her and told her a lot of stuff. You're going to be the mom of Jesus. That was who? Mary. This is Naomi. Naomi was a mother-in-law. Uh, her her daughter-in-law was Ruth. Naomi and her daughter-in-law Ruth helped each other after their husbands died. Ruth gathered grain for them to eat. Ruth took care of Naomi and stayed with her. She honored her. You can find out more about Ruth and Naomi in the book of Ruth chapter 1. Ah, oh, Sarah. Have you heard of Sarah before? Here's what it says. God said that Abraham and Sarah would have a baby. Isaac was finally born when Sarah was 90 years old. He gives his promises. We may give up, but he doesn't. He keeps his promises. He promised them a long time ago. It didn't happen, though, until she was 90. You can read all about Sarah in Genesis chapter 21, verses 1 through 3. We'll give you a lot of information for our game today. Here we go. This is Elizabeth. She's another mother. She, an angel, told Elizabeth's husband, Zechariah, that they would have a son, and they would name him John. He was the cousin to Jesus. He was John the Baptist. You could read all about this in Luke chapter 1, verses 35 through 45. Luke chapter 1, verses 39 through 45. And then Jochebed. Well, that's an, a name, isn't it? It's kind of pretty. She was a mother. Look at that baby in the little uh, basket. Jochebed protected her baby Moses by hiding him in a basket. His sister Miriam watched over him. Aaron was their brother. You can learn more about Jochebed in Exodus chapter 2, 1 through 4. Next up, we have the first mother, Eve. When God created the world, Eve was the first woman. She was the mother of Cain, Abel, Seth, and other children. You can read all about her in Genesis chapter 3. Hannah. She was a mom, too. Hannah prayed for a son for years. She wanted a baby so badly. And then Samuel was born. Hannah promised that he would always serve God. An amazing woman. Read 1 Samuel to learn more about Hannah and her son Samuel. Last but not least, Rebecca. Rebecca was also a mother. Rebecca and her husband Isaac had two very different twin boys. They weren't alike at all. Esau and Jacob. A story worth reading. Well, that's not a story. It's God's word. It's the truth about these boys. You can go to Genesis chapter 24 and chapter 25, so you'll know everything you need to know about this mother and her boys for the Jeopardy game. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? Okay. You need to pause the video for a minute and make sure you have a piece of paper and someone to play with. And when I ask the questions, I'm going to give you time to see who knows the right answer there in your house. Maybe you could play with three or four people. First person to get the right answer.
gets the points. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Um, she had an angel. This is for 100 points. She had an angel appear to her. Who was it? Mary is the answer. Very good. For 200 points. 200 points. Are you ready? She was probably the oldest mother to ever have a baby. Who was it? You're right. Sarah for 200 points. It's getting tougher. 300 points. She was the mother of John the Baptist and Mary's cousin. Who was that? 300 points. It's Elizabeth. Did you get it right? Elizabeth. Next up for 400 points. She was Samuel's mom. What's her name? Samuel's mom is 400 points. Hannah. Did anybody get it at your house? Hannah. For 500 points. Here we go. This one you had to have read in your Bible or you won't know the answer. She was first noticed, 500 points, because she was giving camels drinks of water. Ooh, who was that? Did you read about her? Hmm. Who was that? 500 points. Who knows at your house? It's Rebecca. Go back and listen to the video at the beginning again, and you'll find where you can read more about her. Uh, here's some, uh-oh, mom made some mistakes. You know, moms are kind of like that. They do a lot of good things, and then sometimes moms make mistakes because we're all sinners. How about, have you made some mistakes? Yeah. So you need to, you know, kind of lighten up on your mom if she makes some mistakes too. Uh, we're all just human beings. So here's some moms that mm, mm, made some mistakes. Here we go for 100 points. She was tempted by a snake and she fell for it. Who was that? Oh, that was too easy, wasn't it? 100 points. Whoever got that first at your house, 100 points. Uh, 200 points. You ready? Her husband died and then both her sons died. Life was bitter for her. That was tough. Who is this lady? Both her sons died and her husband for 200 points. Naomi, you're right. Who said that? Ah, uh, was it? Oh, yeah. Maybe it was Naomi that's at your house. I don't know. I know some Naomi's. 300 points. Are you ready? 300 points. She had a favorite son named Jacob, and she helped him steal the blessing. Uh, she had a favorite son, and then she stole something. Yeah, these moms made some mistakes. Who was that? It was Rebecca. You're right, Rebecca. 400 points. 400 points. She didn't think she could have a son at her old age, so she came up with another way. She forgot to trust God, and so she did it her way. Who is it? Sarah. She couldn't imagine she could have a baby. She was getting so old, but she did it her way. 400 points. Now for this last one, 500 points. Better to have read your Bible. That's a lot of points. Here's the question. She followed God instead of Pharaoh, even though it could have cost her her life. Who was that? Who was that mom? Hmm. Do you know? Yep. It's Jacobed. Jacobed. She's it. Yep. Yep. Okay, now here's just some famous mama words. Surely you can fill these in. We talked about a few of them. Here we go. For 100 points, please eat your... Yep, vegetables, vegetables. Who got that first? Okay, here, here's, a, here's a gross one. 200 points. Do you already know the answer? Don't pick your... Yeah, nose, scab, either one of those is good. But they're really bad. 300 points. I'm not going to. 
What do moms say? I'm not going to ask you again. <sighs> 300 points. Did anybody get that one? I bet you've heard it. How about 400 points? We didn't go over this one. Do you know it? What do moms say a lot? Please clean your room. That's right. 400 points. Who yelled that out? I think I could hear you. Everybody knew that one. And then there was some moaning afterwards. Remember, honor your mom. Today's the day. Respect her. Go clean your room today. You could be her present to her. Maybe you can even make a bow and put it on the door so she walks in. It's like, here's my gift. 500 points. Every mom says this to their kids, I think. And grandma say it too. You will always be my, aw, baby. Yeah. Did you get that one? Okay. Deuteronomy 516 for 100 points. Here we go. Deuteronomy 516 says to honor your father and your... Ding, 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 ding. Did you all say it? If you all said it at the same time, give everybody gets 100 points. Number two. The best gift for Mother's Day is to give your mom... We talked about it. What do you give her? Well, it's not coupon books. That's not the best way. The best gift ever is for you to honor your mom. Number, or the third, and 300 points. Honor is showing what to your mom inside and outside of your home? What do you show her? Did you listen? Go back and listen if you don't know. Go back in the video. Quick, 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 go to that part. What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to show her... R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Respect. Did anybody get that? Well, I hope so. I bet all the moms got it, but you probably didn't yell it because you were letting your kids win. 400 points. Our moms aren't perfect. We're not perfect either because of, what is it that causes none of us to be perfect? Three little letters. Sin. Yeah, sin. 500 points. This is the tough one. We didn't really talk about it, but I think you know. Here we go. Are you ready? Thankfully, blank came to save us from our sin and creating us a clean heart. Who did that? Jesus. He sure did. Uh, we are going to talk about that right now. Do you know Jesus as your personal Savior? Do you have a relationship with him and know how much he cares for you? If you don't, if you're not sure, you can you can go to him today and pray and ask him, Lord, do you really love me that much? You'd forgive me even though I've got sin and I maybe I'm disrespectful to you and God would you forgive me I believe you love me if you do that today he'll come into your heart he'll forgive you and he'll be with you forever not quite sure about that keep listening in go back and watch some of our other videos okay now this is about the holiday of Mother's Day are you ready it's a day when we celebrate our moms what's the name of that holiday uh, everybody gets 100 points. That was too easy. Mother's Day. Okay, 200 points. What country started Mother's Day? Yep, United States. That's right. That's right. Okay, here's a tough one. Mother's Day is always on this day. Nope. The answer is not May the 10th. What is it? It's always on the... Ding, 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 ding. Do some research. Go back in the video. It's the second Sunday in May, so it's always at the same time, so you don't have to be surprised by it. I hope you weren't surprised this week, but things have been a little weird with schedules and calendars and stuff, so I hope you remembered. If you didn't, it's not too late. Remember those things we talked about you could do for your mom that don't cost anything. The president, for 400 points, what president established the holiday of Mother's Day? Hmm? Yep, it was Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson. Can you say that? Say that three times fast. That's hard. Three. I need to go back to school. Three. Toughest one yet. I told you the answer if you were really listening for 500 points. What year did this celebration holiday start? What was the first year?
Nope. Look, did you take some notes? I hope you took some notes. 1914, that's when it started. And here's the final Jeopardy question today. And you can get 500 points or 100 for each way that you list. I want you to list five ways that you could honor your mother for Mother's Day and all year round. Here's a few to get started. Thankfulness, listening, giving her respect, uh, gifts, time, talking politely with her and to her, surprising her, obeying, praying for her, speaking highly of her, telling others about how wonderful your mom is and the things she does for you. Boys and girls, go tell your mom right now, happy Mother's Day. Give her a hug. If uh, you're with your grandma or your aunt or someone else who is just like your mom and they take good care of you all the time, um, you need to go love them right now. Go tell them, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. The Bible says I should honor you. I'm going to do that. Obey God. Let's pray. Dear God, help each one of these boys and girls today to obey you by honoring their mother and father, especially on this day about mothers, Lord. Help them to do that by showing them respect inside and outside of their home. We love you. We need you. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm.